Over the past few weeks, I went down a rabbit hole trying to understand what the hell is going on with the names used in Armored Core 6. Like, what sort of name is Sulla? What is a Bornemissa? And just, what? The good news is, the vast majority of these names do have a clear inspiration behind them. They are borrowed from many different languages, and retracing their origins can also give us some really interesting insight into the lore. In this video is everything I managed to find out regarding the origin of these names, and be warned that there's going to be some minor spoilers for the different endings of the game. So if that doesn't bother you too much, let's go and have a look, shall we? Language-wise, the biggest influence on the game definitely comes from Latin, and it's right there in the title, Fires of Rubicon. The game is set on the planet Rubicon 3, named after a small river in central Italy, which went down in history when a certain Julius Caesar crossed it with its army on 49 BC, thus precipitating a civil war. The phrase crossing the Rubicon assumed the meaning of passing a point of no return. On that occasion, Caesar famously pronounced the phrase alea iacta est, meaning the die is cast, which is also the name of the third and final ending of the game. This is also echoed by Thumb Dolmayan, the founder of the Rubicon Liberation Front, who repeatedly mentions the die that shall not be cast. For none of us shall cast the die! Alea in the phrase means dice, or game of chance, and also gives the name to the ocean on planet Rubicon that we have to cross to get to the ice field, the Alien Ocean. The game seems to take a great deal of inspiration from Caesar's life. Other Latin toponyms are the Gallia Dam and the Bona Dea Dunes. Gallia is the Latin name for the province of Gaul, where Caesar spent almost 10 years fighting the Gallic Wars. And Bona Dea, meaning good goddess, is the name of an ancient Roman divinity. We know her only as the good goddess because only initiated women were allowed to attend her rites and know her true name. And guess what? The overwhelming majority of Latin sources came from male authors, and the real name of the goddess is lost to history. Yearly rites were held in the good goddess name, and famously, during one of these festivals in 62 BC, a great scandal erupted when a politician named Clodius committed sacrilege by attending the rites disguised as a woman, apparently in an effort to seduce Caesar's wife, Pompeia. Pompeia was the granddaughter of Lucius Cornelius Sulla, Roman dictator which greatly influenced Caesar's career. Then we have the dozer Honest Brute, whose name references Brutus, one of the assassins of Caesar. The phrase et tu, Brute, meaning you too, Brutus, uttered by a dying Caesar, signifies an unexpected betrayal by a friend, which is exactly what happened to Carla in the game. Let's take a look now at our good buddy Rusty, who is part of the Vespers, Archibus Augmented Human Squad. Vesper is another Latin word, meaning twilight or nightfall. But when Rusty finally drops the muzzle and reveals himself as a double agent working for the Rubicon Liberation Front, his AC, Steel Hades, gets upgraded to Steel Hades Ortus, which means birth or rise in Latin, especially used in reference to the sun to mean dawn. Steel Hades Ortus is made by El Cano, whose parts follows a Spanish naming scheme, and it's made up of Alba parts, which, you might have guessed, also means Dawn in Spanish. The whole Twilight into Dawn theme is also referenced in the amazing song of the mission where we meet Rusty in his new AC. Another two interesting references on this same theme. The Rubicon Research Institute developed a weapon called Aurora, which is the proper Latin word for dawn, and Nightfall is also the name of the real Raven's AC. Let's now have a look at some PCA crafts, because they sure love classical references. My favorite is the autonomous craft Balteus, which is named after the belt worn by Roman soldiers and you can definitely see the inspiration here. 
we also have the PCA Special Forces Ekdromoi, named after ancient Greek light infantry units. The name apparently translates to Outrunners, which is funny considering that their motto is No one outruns the Ekdromoi. Finally, there's the PCA Cataphract. The name originates in ancient Greek and is then borrowed by Latin, where it means basically armored, and went on to designate heavily armored cavalry units. One final Latin note. You might have noticed that the logo of the Overseers features a Latin motto, Prestat cautela quam medela. It means prevention is better than cure, and on the logo are two figures pruning a tree. This is in reference to the Overseer's job to monitor the growth of coral and stop it before it reaches a critical point. Speaking of plants, some of the technologies created on Rubicon are named after plants. The Nepenthes, the weapon platform guarding the depths of Watchpoint Alpha, is named after a genus of carnivorous plants that use tube-shaped structures to trap prey. The supremely annoying wheel machines are called Helianthus, which is the genus of sunflower plants. And the city of Xylem is named after tubular structures that transport water and nutrients through a plant. A plant with xylems is called a tracheophyte or vascular plant. Let's talk next about the names assigned to the various factions pilots, starting with Archibald's squad, the Vespers. They are a mixed bunch, liberally using names of famous artists and writers. Freud and O'Keefe are probably the ones that most people will recognize, while Mitterling, Swinburne and Pater are somewhat more obscure. Hawkins is a very common last name and there are literally too many people it could refer to but the glaring anomalies are Rusty and Snail. Rusty being different makes sense, considering that he is really an undercover member for the Rubicon Liberation Front, but I couldn't really find a convincing explanation of Snail's name. Someone online mentions that in Salvador Dali's autobiography, he says he had this revelation, that Sigmund Freud's brain was in the shape of a snail. Maybe this plays into Snail being the real brain of the Vespers, instead of Freud, I don't know, I'm not too convinced, and Salvador Dali was full of shit anyway. Balaam's pilot group, the Red Guns, make a lot more sense by comparison. They are all named after lakes and rivers. We don't get to meet G7 Accra, but we can find his destroyed AC in the very first mission. Also, during the Intercept the Red Guns mission, G1 Michigan calls some MT pilots by name, and they are committed to the bit as well. Next up are the Rubicon Liberation Front pilots, and you probably already noticed how they are named after fingers on a hand. But there's also some interesting symbolism going on regarding Father Dolmayan and his flag. Dolmayan is an Armenian name, and his AC, Astrik, is also named after an Armenian divinity, whose name means Little Star. There's nine stars on Dolmayan's decal, separated in groups of six and three, and six stars are also present on the logo of the RLF. Astrik, according to tradition, is the daughter of the biblical Noah, and the logo could very well represent Noah steering the ark towards dry land. Why the six stars and what's the meaning of the scale on the Mayan's decal, I do not know, and if you have any theories in regard, please do let me know. But there's another affiliated pilot who has a six in his name and could be considered the unofficial sixth member of the RLF, Roku Monsen. His name means six mon coins, which in Buddhism represents the toll needed to cross the Sanzu River into the afterlife. The Roku Monsen is famously the emblem of the Japanese Sanada clan, meant to represent that they are not afraid to die in battle. And the six coins are reflected in Roku Monsen's decal together with the inverted first kanji of the word shinobi, which is the name of his AC. And finally, let's have a look at the RAD pilots, who have this fun little theme where all their nicknames are sarcastic or not true. Chatty doesn't talk much, Honest is a liar and a traitor, and Invincible is the lowest ranked pilot in the arena. As for Carla, 
Cinder is a nickname given to the survivors of the fires of Ibis, and both Air and the Dozers comment on how Carla appears to be far too young to have experienced the fires 50 years in the past. There are, however, evidences that point to Carla actually having experienced the fires, and her age is currently an unsolved mystery. For the final part of this video, let's go over the AC part names, as there are some really cool things to discover here. There are 14 parts manufacturers in the game, and everyone follows its own naming convention. Balaam's parts all use last names, and you might have noticed that similar parts are coupled with similar ending names. But the interesting bit, and I only found out halfway during the creation of this video, is that every single part is named after a famous entomologist, mainly from the 19th century. Next up is Da Feng, a Balam subsidiary. It is named after a Chinese district, and the names used are those of constellation of the Xing Guan, the traditional Chinese system of astronomy that dates back to the 5th century BC. Baos produces rifles and frame parts, and all the names are references to the Japanese haiku poet Matsuo Basho. His 10 best pupils are known as the Shomon Jitetsu, and every other part is named after one of the pupils. Schneider is an Archibus subsidiary, and its name is the third most common German last name, meaning Taylor. All its frames and weapons are named in German after birds species, and the boosters use birds anatomical parts. Elcano Foundry is probably named after Juan Sebastián Elcano, Spanish navigator best known for having completed the first circumnavigation of the globe. We already talked about the Alba frame, and all the other parts use Spanish names as well. RAD uses a variety of wacky or nonsensical names, like the Bad Cook flamethrower or the Spring Chicken reverse joint legs. After all, the motto of RAD's boss Carla is get your laughs while you can. The low doubt of her AC is particularly silly, and Full Course is just the perfect name for it. Rubicon Research Institute parts use a variety of science-related names in addition to characters' references. The Ephemera and Hull frames are used respectively by Air and Handler Walter in different endings. Ephemera means short-lived, and Air uses redshift weapons, in reference to her being coral. Walter uses WLT weapons, and using the same logic, HAL could stand for Handler. The rest of their builds is made up of NGI parts, the pinnacle of coral-based technology. Other parts use anatomical names, like Gills, Aorta and Ocellus, which is the name given to the simplest eye structure found in invertebrates. And of course, we can't forget the Moonlight Sword, the recurring weapon present in almost every From Software game. All mind parts, excluding the alpha and beta frames, use a four letters code, which spells words related to the weapon, like Javelin, Hammer, Orbit and Karasawa, which is the name of a famous recurring piece of equipment in the Armored Core series. Melinite specializes in bazookas and explosives, and I couldn't really find a common theme to their names. Melinite itself, though, is an explosive used in artillery shells. All the other manufacturers don't use any names at all, but alphanumeric series instead. Arquebus and its Advanced Development Division, despite featuring heavily in the game plot, do not have any named parts, and an Arquebus is a type of 15th century long gun. Furlong has a seemingly endless variation of missile launchers. In reference to this predilection for ranged weapons, a furlong is a unit of measurement, one eighth of a mile, and furlong's logo is a Sagittarius who uses a bow. And that pretty much sums up everything I could find regarding the names used in the game. There are still many names for which I couldn't find a clear inspiration, and of course, it's not like everything has to have a deeper meaning behind it. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. But still, if you have any ideas, I would love to hear about it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.